The great Roblox development lie. This is one of the biggest issues that I see with Roblox devs. And it's something that is invisible to most people because they don't know the mechanism behind how development actually works. They think they do, but really, they only understand the surface. So we mostly think of development as building, as scripting, as modeling, as UI, as things that go into the game world when we're producing our projects. But that is only what you see inside of Roblox Studio. There is a lot more to it than that. And if you were to ask any front page dev who was actually honest with you, they would say, yeah, there is. There's a whole mechanism behind this that we don't talk about very often and that most devs don't understand. And what is this? What is the missing aspect to development? Well, this is multi-layered. It's not just one thing, but at the very top is strategy first thinking. And strategy first is just the idea that you put strategy before passion. Rather than trying to just make your dream game on day one, rather than just trying to do whatever you feel like and build a really cool open world terrain based map in studio, rather than just doing that, you could do that stuff too, but it has to be inside of that larger strategy. You focus on building a career. So this channel is the only channel out there that is about building a career on Roblox rather than just learning one-off skills. I'll get comments all the time by people who say, well, Smarty, why are you talking about strategy instead of scripting? Like, I wanna learn scripting. And that is exactly where I hope you can see these people who are saying that they may mean well, but they are very shallow minded in their view on development. Strategy determines what games you make. It determines what goals matter. It determines how you make money. It determines whether you can even make a lot of your massive game ideas that you wanna create. And when everybody's so focused on, oh, I gotta have the perfect plan. I gotta have the perfect map. I gotta know everything about scripting. I gotta make my building skills top notch. I gotta spend five years on my project. When they're stuck in the hobbyist mindset like this, it keeps them focused on things that don't generate results. When I tell devs to say, hey, focus on making money, focus on building a career, focus on building leverage and building teams, it's highly controversial because people say, oh, it's bad to focus on results. You can't do that. The only thing you can do is just make art for the community. Everything that you create should just be uh, the Mona Lisa except in Roblox form. But the problem with this is everybody, whether you wanna admit it or not, runs on incentives. That means we wanna get something as humans out of what we do. That's how economies work, that's how business works, that's how everything works at the root level. But if you can get people to believe, oh, it's bad to pursue your incentives, but it's fine for the players to pursue theirs, right? They can try to get a fun game, but you, Dev, uh-uh. You can't try to make money. That's bad. If they can convince you to do that, what does that do? That just makes you a servant of the community. You, can't, you just think, oh, I gotta make the perfect passion project. I can't release one of these slop games that actually work I can't release the games that actually make money because then I'd be a bad dev. You see this. This isn't something, that, there isn't some like grand conspiracy of Roblox trying to get people to feel shame for trying to make money, but this is a natural outcome of people trying to maintain equilibrium in the community. They're like, okay, I see these games. I don't like them. Devs are trying to make money. Strategy first devs exist. Let's shame them so that we get them to stop. Call their game slop. Oh, that'll work. These things just come up naturally in culture when they wanna remove a phenomenon from the community, right? Something works, this generates money, players want it. The people who aren't in that demographic, shame it. Simple, 
That's just how humans work. They shame what they don't like to try to get it to stop. But if devs think this way, if devs take on the hobbyist mindset, what happens is they throw away their careers because now any move on the chessboard that would actually push them forward is demonized and treated as bad. It's treated as wrong, but it's just some nonsense. It's not a real moral system. And this channel exists to expose the fact that this is just false. And more and more devs are shifting out of this, that my channel has helped, but also just the fact that so many simple games have been rising up. The fact that Roblox has expanded as economy. The fact that Roblox is becoming more and more a business, not just an art. All these things are making the hobbyist mindset get pushed to the side and it's showing how ineffective it is. Because Roblox used to be just a creative playground where you made whatever you want. But now, Roblox still has that, but that's not all it is. And that's what this channel exists to show. That is what this channel is here to expose. It's not here to say, here's how to be the perfect dev. It's not here to say, oh, make horrible low quality games and just ruin Roblox. It's here to give you clarity. It's here to open your eyes so you can make better decisions that build a career in the long run, that allow you to build a studio one day or start a team or make a dev YouTube channel sharing your experiences to the camera and what you learn like I'm doing right now. That is what Strategy First is all about. So, hope you gained a lot from this. That is the great lie of Roblox development. It's that all skills are equal. They are not. Strategy First is at the top. Then there is business slash studio management. Then there is game design. Then there is project management. It's a stack. But building, scripting, modeling, UI design, animation, VFX, GFX, all of those are guided by the higher levels because it doesn't matter what you build if it doesn't lead to results, if it doesn't lead to players, if it doesn't lead to money. So we got to align all those lower level tasks towards our higher level goals. And that's what Strategy First is all about. All right, see you next time.